module one. Finding the deals. So again, ask questions as needed. So before that, you know, who am I? Who's Ryan Nickel? Who's Ryan Five Cents? Who's this guy that you've invested time and money and energy into learning from? So I'm definitely a family man. This is my why. Growing up, um, I had a mom who never wanted to work outside the home other than be a mom. And I love her for that. She was the best mom that I, I could ever hope for. And uh, my father was a prison guard. And I never saw a lot of him because in order for my mom to stay home, he had to support our family, which means that he had to also work a lot of overtime. So my dad was very, for a lot of my youth growing up, he was working 16-hour shifts. And so he was either sleeping or gone when I was awake. And he worked the graveyard and then swing shift, and then he had to sleep. So not having a dad, even though I had a dad, was very difficult for me. I wanted to do a lot of activities. I wanted to do a lot of things that with my friends were doing with their fathers. I just couldn't do that. And so that was a big reason why I decided to become, um, to do what I'm doing right now with, when it comes to actually bootstrap. That was the, the, the impetus for me, was to create this, this opportunity, this training to give fathers, husbands, um, you know, basically men their freedom back so they can spend it with their family. That's my why. My why is my family. My why is also being able to share this. So this legacy is a little bit bigger than me. I want to be able to give that back. So that's, that's what I do. Um, I'm a best-selling author, hit number one status on, uh, um, on Amazon, June 7th, 2015. That was the first milestone. I'm a, I'm a two-time best-selling author now. This time, uh, I went all the way to Canada. I was number one in Canada under Practical Law Guides for Real Estate. I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe because the title foreclosure, but I have no idea. But anyway, it's under Practical Law. I was number one in that category. Um, but before all of that, I lost my house to foreclosure, guys. Sucked. It was one of the hardest times of my life. It was, it, was, it was devastating. It was such a blow. That year, I don't know if you can see this or not. This is a, uh, a tinsel tree Christmas tree. Um, let, me, let me put the lights down on this one. Does that help at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, this year for Christmas, we were living in Idaho. I had recently borrowed $8,500 from my in-laws to bring things current. Couldn't get a job. Actually, I had a job. I was working for four dollars and a quarter, so four four and a quarter for an hour, answering phone calls for a call center, trying to get them to sell them into, of all things, a real estate course to learn how to do uh, investing. <laughs> I was like, this is the most irony in my life, you know? And like they ask you questions like, are you successful? Oh yeah, yeah, we're totally successful. The coaches were successful. I'm I'm losing my house, but you don't know that, you know? And so my wife goes, no. We had our my daughter Zoe, who's now going to be nine this year. This was her first Christmas. And she's like, we're not going to not have a Christmas for our daughter for her first year. So my wife went down to the construction paper store, bought some construction paper, bought some tinsel, and she made this Christmas tree. And this was our Christmas tree. Um, we ended up, like I said, losing this house. We were kicked out the day after Christmas. And uh, my in-laws, who loaned me the money, realized that they just kissed that money goodbye because I couldn't do anything with it. I couldn't, I couldn't get things going. And, and I look back at this situation and I wish, oh my gosh, if only I would have known what I know now and what I'm going to be sharing with you, I wouldn't have lost this house. This was a duplex that I could have sold, seller financed, and lived rent free and had a down payment to cure all of the debts. But I didn't know that. I had no idea. And I ended up losing my house. And so I'm telling you, there are secrets that I'm going to share with you guys that you can go and you can help people that are in distressed situations. Um, but so that was my Christmas that, that year. So fast forward 2014. So this, that was, I lost my house in 2010. So here we are four years later. And I'm in Tahoe living with my beautiful family. And my wife, she posts this. It says, we lost an important part of our family last, last week, Ryan's job. He's an incredible marketer, and he's on the lookout for a new job. I figure it can't hurt to, hurt to put the word out here. So this was August 18th, 2014. And so um, just down on my luck, didn't know what I was going to do. My wife at this time was pregnant with our fourth child, and uh, so we had three young mouths at home to feed, and I'm just like, Tahoe is, in case you don't know, Tahoe is a tough market to get a job in. It's a very tough, unless you're a stripper, you're not making good money. <laughs> or in the civil, you know, you're a civil um, servant. So it was very difficult. Um, so I did the next best thing that I knew how to do, and that was to apply for welfare and get on food stamps. And so I was 
I was scared, didn't know what I can do, and I'm on food stamps, and I'm trying to support my family, because at least, the, to me, my biggest concern was my children need to eat. I can, I'm a man, I can take care of myself, I can starve if I need to, but my kid's not going to suffer because daddy's struggling financially. And so that was where we were at. And um, at that time, I had a friend of mine who, he reached out to me, and he's like, Ryan, you need to, uh, you need to come to, to Georgia. And you need to work for me. I'm going to teach you how to do some real estate stuff. And so um, I lost my job in August. So a week later, I, was, I found myself in um, Savannah, Georgia, doing some online marketing for this guy. And I, so get this out. So he's like, he's like, all right, man, I'm going to teach you how to do this stuff, and we're going to do this. And I'm thinking I'm making money for my family. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get next month's rent, rent from this guy. And he goes, well, it comes down to paying you. I'm, I'm not going to pay you. Well, I'm going to give you this flash drive here. It's worth $1,500. I'm like, well, you told me $1,500 is what I'd be walking away with. I got a rent. Yeah, rent, and, you know, payment to make and all this stuff. He's like, well, this is worth, I charge people $1,500 for this plus more. Not this one, guys. This one's worth way more. Has a lot more stuff than I learned from that guy. But the point was, I'm like, I can't pay rent with the flash drive. So I call my wife up, and she's like, in, she's furious, and she's like in tears, and she's like, I can't believe you got scammed by this guy and all of this stuff. And so he, he agrees to pay me 500 bucks for my time, and he gives me this course. And so I go home, and I'm in, I'm in Tahoe, and I'm like, okay, all right, we're going to make this thing work. So, you know, do what everyone else does when you're broke and unemployed. You become a real estate investor. And so here I am, a month later, September 17th, Tahoe, I buy houses at each condition, any price. And it was crickets. <laughs> it was absolute crickets. Didn't, I just didn't know what I didn't know, because you can't learn what you need to know from a flash drive. You got to experience it. So he sees me still struggling. And so he says, well, come on out to Savannah, Georgia, and I will teach you this business. Because I knew the guy was successful. I had been there for four days as I watched his operation, as I was teaching him some online marketing stuff. So I, it was right before Thanksgiving. I took a chance. And I traveled across country. I, I kissed my wife and my kids goodbye. I packed up my 99 Nissan Sentra. I almost didn't go. I almost, I was this close to just saying, forget it. It's too hard. The price is too, too high a price to pay for me to leave my wife and kids and not know if it was going to work out or not. I had no clue. And so I'm crying. I'm just like bawling my eyes out. And my wife's like, you can do this. My wife was like, your wife. She's like, you can do this. You can do this. So I packed up, drove cross country. And I'm, I'm sleeping in the back of this guy's office, about half of this room, maybe a quarter of this room actually, hard floor just like this. And I'm on the sleeping bag on the floor. And I'm, I'm there just trying to struggle this thing out, trying to figure this thing out. Uh, he was kind enough to put, like, a shower stall in the corner and, like, drill the hole through the wall so, like, the water just, like, drained out to the back. I guess in the south you can get away with that. <laughs> I don't think you can get away with that here. But um, bless, I bless this guy's name to this day. I mean, I send him Thanksgiving cards every single year because of the opportunity they gave me because in, in three short weeks um, I found my first deal. No money, no credit, and no banks absolutely just completely all taught by this man. And this was my first check. This was my shut up check for 20 grand. It was uh, December 19th, 2014. So I'd been there just a little bit over three weeks. And I called my wife up, bawling again, crying. But these are happy tears this time. I'm like, pack it up. We're going to Georgia. We're going to learn how to do this business. And uh, this check changed everything for me. At the point before that, I was making about $72,000 a year working for this, uh, this startup. Um, in three weeks, I made 20 grand. I'm like, holy crap. I mean, if that was three weeks, what happens in like six weeks? You know, <laughs> it's like, you know, two more weeks, another 40 grand. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't that easy. I struggled then for the next six months trying to figure out how to get another deal. Because understanding the mechanics of a deal is one thing, but understanding how to actually find the deal, completely different story. This one was a blessing. Um, I, you want to hear the irony of this all? So I, I put up an ad on Craigslist that says, real estate mentor looking for assistant or looking for uh, apprentice. I don't have a deal under my belt. I don't have anything. And this guy, he goes, hey, man, my, uh, my aunt's landlord is losing his properties to foreclosure or bankruptcy and foreclosure. He has 11 of them. This was the first of five that I bought from him. So it was definitely a blessing. So, but, you know, it's kind of the irony there. Wow. Yeah, so... You guys, I want to teach you how to, be, how to be an investor. You need to learn to be an investor because if you can't find deals, you're not an investor. I don't know if I can say that any more clear. You're a buyer, and a buyer buys, and an investor profits. And I want to teach you guys how to profit. 
because there are a lot of buyers out there that don't know what you're going to learn that will buy from you, and you can profit from, from them buying from you. So become an investor, not a buyer. <laughs>